Blender is a free and open source multi-dimensional software that allows you to do a lot of things. So now over here in this course, we're going to specially focus on the 3D portion and then we'll cover up the other portion of uh, what Blender can do as well. So I'm just going to open up the software right here. And once I open up, you can see that this is what you're greeted with. So over here, you can see that there's new file right here. There's general, 2D animation, sculpting, VFX, and video editing. And these are all of the things that can be done with Blender. So if I were to go around into general, then you get onto the 3D viewport, uh, which is what Blender is known for. So this is uh, actually used to uh, create 3D models and then uh, utilize textures and everything else. So once you open this out, you can see on the left side, there's a toolbar right here. On the bottom, there's timeline. And on the right side, you can work around with the layers and the properties for the particular object that you're selecting. On the top, you see the file menu. And over here, you can see that there's modeling view right here. There's sculpting view, UV view, there's texture, shading, uh, there's animation, there's rendering, compositing, and scripting. So all of the things uh, have their own views and you can simply select it out right there. You can also add in your own view by clicking on this plus button right here to add in your workspace. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to new right here. So this is the general one that is uh, you work with 3D. So I'm just going to not save it. You get onto the same menu as you can see. But if I were to go on to new and to 2D animation, then you go on to a a uh, new portion of the Blender software where you can go around and work around with 2D animation. So even for this, you can see that there's tools on the left side, there's timeline on the bottom right here, and there's um, different layers and different uh, parameters over here on the right. And just like in the general section, you have 2D animation, you have full canvas, you have compositing and rendering uh, tabs right here, which you can utilize. And the other option that you can work with is uh, over here and that's sculpting. So once you go to sculpting, uh, I'm just going to click on don't save right here. And you can see that you go on to the sculpt view right here where you can sculpt out uh, different models. You can also go to the shading area and work with shading right here. And that's the sculpting right here. I'm just going to go around right here and now I'm going to go to VFX part and in this area you can uh, work around with visual effects as well. So on the visual effects there's motion tracking that you can do, there's masking, there's compositing and rendering as you can see right there. And finally, you can go around and do video editing with Blender as well. And in this case, you can see that there's file management up over here on the uh, left side. And over here, there's the timeline right here. And there's the uh, video editing right here. And over here, you can see that there's dimension and everything else. So on the top, there's video editing and there's rendering option right over here for this part of the software. And we're going to learn all about these in the uh, tutorial series for Blender. And this has been the interface tour for the uh, Blender software. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.